Drew Murphy. Happy to show some arth arthrocell cases. We've had a, a fairly extensive experience at Campbell Clinic with arthrocell over the last six or seven years and happy to show some of the uh, cases. The first case, a 62-year-old uh, woman with extensive midfoot arthritis involving the uh, navicular cuneiform joint and the uh, second and third tarsal metatarsal joints. Uh, a difficult problem to be sure from a fixation and prep standpoint and um, she had failed a significant conservative treatment presented for surgical management. In her case, we elected to do arthrocell at the second and third TMT joint and the navicular cuneiform joint one through three. We used the nonanite uh, compression plate, a fairly new product from Arthrex. In the um, initial x-ray you see here, there's the uh, spacers for the nitinol compression component. Intraoperatively, C-arms utilized to be sure that we've got the orientation of the plate correct and the orientation of the screws, the intended screw placement correct. And you can see the final post-operative images on the uh, right with uh, application of the uh, nitinol compression plate across both the navicular cuneiform and the first and second TMT joint. Uh, because of the, the first tarsal metatarsal joint was relatively preserved, uh, they, we elected to just fuse the first cuneiform, uh, navicular cuneiform joint medially with just the dynanite MX staple. She exhibited excellent pain relief and um, uh, looked uh, fairly well healed at six weeks postoperatively. Next case, a difficult case just because of the patient's age. This is a 23-year-old female with a fairly extensive post-traumatic ankle arthritis with uh, anterior subluxation of the ankle. Because of the relative preservation of her hind foot, we decided to uh, press ahead with an arthrodesis of the ankle with a malleolite preserving procedure in hopes that later on in life, if she needs a total ankle, she'll have that opportunity. In her case, uh, removal of the hardware that she had and the prep of the joint with application of Arthrocell was uh, utilized. We used the minimal invasive uh, plating system from Arthrex that you see here with excellent compression and purchase, uh, along with two crossed, fully threaded headless compression screws with excellent stability. These are the five-month post-op films, and she had an excellent gait pattern and uh, significant pain relief. Third case is a uh, morbidly obese uh, gentleman, a BMI of approximately 50 with uh, severe progressive flat foot uh, deformity, subtalar arthritis, and uh, it was apparent clinically and radiographically the apex of the deformity was, his, was at his first tarsal metatarsal joint, so the procedure in addition to an Achilles lengthening was a subtalar arthrodesis and first tarsal metatarsal arthrodesis. In his case, we used Arthrocell uh, with a two-screw posterior approach, a, a six-seven headed screw for initial compression followed by a partially threaded headless compression screw. Because of his size, we elected to use a plantar a lapidus a plate along with Arthrocell. He has uh, exhibited significant pain relief and improvement in his gait and function. Uh, despite his size and no problems with healing. Last case, a little bit different for use of Arthrocell. This is a 30-year-old uh, gentleman with a fairly innocuous ankle sprain uh, who developed avascular necrosis of the Taylor body. In his case, because of the stru structural integrity of the uh, subchondral bone in the talus, we elected for a biologic addition to a core decompression. In his case, we mixed uh, Arthrocell with a bone marrow aspirate to get it into a form liquid enough to be injected through the uh, decompression drill holes. Uh, you can see on the right lateral and the right AP view, if you look, there's some tracks there uh, from the use of the Arthrocell and the core decompression. So we've been had an excellent experience with Arthrocell. We're in the process and have submitted a uh, abstract for the Academy for 2021, looking at uh, a retrospective review of Arthrocell uh, and roughly uh, we found no change in time to healing and no change in ultimate healing uh, between autograft and arthrocell.